As far as the mobile tech sector is concerned, Samsung and Google have been good friends for the past few years, so it's not surprising that Samsung has drawn some inspiration from the origin of all things Android. More precisely, the use of on-device and cloud AI is responsible for many of the improvements found in the Galaxy S24, as well as the S24 Plus or Ultra. Of course, there are a ton of other things that set the Galaxy S24 apart and provide a distinct user experience from the Pixel 8, so keep watching to learn more. Let's start with the size and design, Google has stuck to the incredibly popular design that debuted with the Pixel 6, with a few minor adjustments made for the Pixel 8 like larger oval edges and smaller bezels. Regarding the S24, Samsung has chosen to make a more noticeable design update to its entry-level flagship device for the first time in a long time. The Galaxy S24 now features flat edges and a display that resembles the iPhone 15. Naturally, the S24 and Pixel the 8th have maybe distinguished from one another by their back panels in addition to their round versus flat borders. The latter features that recognizable pixel metal bar that houses two cameras inside, while the former has three cameras with lenses sticking out. Furthermore, the Pixel 8's glossy surface is a fingerprint magnet, whereas the Galaxy's rear is matte. Regarding the size difference, the S24 maintains the same dimensions as its predecessor, making it consistent with the claim that Samsung's vanilla flagship is among the best tiny phones available for a number of years. Even though their widths are nearly same, this causes the S24 to appear narrower and shorter when compared to the Pixel 8. Please feel free to peruse our dedicated Phone Arena article on the Galaxy S24 size comparison to see how it compares to other well-known phones. Regarding protection, the Pixel 8 has an older version of Gorilla Glass, while the Galaxy S24 is equipped with Gorilla Glass Victors 2, which shields the device's front and back. Though the current Victus generation is marginally more scratch and crack resistant, this shouldn't be a deal breaker at all. The IP68 water and dust protection of both phones is the best currently available for premium smartphones. There are only three color options available for the Pixel, Hazel, Obsidian and Rose. Samsung, on the other hand, offers a wider variety of colors for its flagship series, the Galaxy S24 comes in cobalt violet, amber yellow, marble gray, and onyx black. Next, we discuss displays. When it came to displays, Google really upped the ante with the Pixel 8, but Samsung maintains its position as the leading phone maker by offering an even brighter and more power-efficient display on the Galaxy S24. Although it is difficult to argue that the Pixel 8's display is subpar in any way, it has a maximum brightness of 2000 nits, whereas the Galaxy S24's display reaches 2600 nits. It's important to note that, in Phone Arena's own tests, we frequently find these figures to be somewhat stretched, sometimes much more than somewhat, but overall brightness levels seem to match up with real-world variations. Apart from that, the screens on both phones are 6.2 inches in size and have a refresh rate of 120 Hz. The Galaxy S24's display can go as low as 1 Hz, whereas the Pixel 8's can only go as low as 60 Hz, proving that the devil is in the details. The S24 should be more power efficient because it can operate at a lower frequency of up to 1 Hz, which should allow it to conserve more battery life. The only slightly noticeable difference between the Galaxy S24 and Pixel 8 screens is the S24's lower minimum brightness, which could be useful if you frequently use your phone in really dark environments because it will be less glaring to look at. We now discuss software and performance. A 4 nanometers chipset powers both the recently introduced Pixel 8 and the Galaxy S24. But past performance indicates that Google's Tensor G CPUs typically fall short of rival models, such as the Snapdragon silicon found in Galaxy phones. To put it succinctly, we anticipate that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, available exclusively in North America, in the S24 will outperform Google's Tensor G3. For the Pixel 9 series, Google would really need to improve its internal CPUs if it wants to catch up with the competition. Samsung's integration of AI into its phones means that AI specialization is no longer an acceptable defense. Some may contend that Tensor chipset's poorer performance is somewhat justified by Samsung's cheaper phone costs, but it's not like Samsung's Galaxy phones don't frequently receive huge discounts and exclusive deals. 
In terms of RAM, the base Pixel 8 model and the Galaxy S24 both have 8GB, regardless of the storage choice you choose. Regarding software support, Google essentially overtook Samsung as the company offering the longest software support of any widely available Android phone when it revealed that the Pixel 8 would receive software and security upgrades for seven years. However, given that the S24 matches those seven years of software support and security upgrades, it appears like Sami is here to level the playing field. With Samsung's proprietary Exynos 2400 chipset, the Galaxy S24 we have here outperforms the Pixel 8's Tensor G3 in every benchmark. However, in practice, more demanding jobs like graphically demanding games and video editing programs are where you will really see this difference. Next, we discuss the camera. As is customary with Pixel phones, the Pixel 8 has an excellent camera system. Nevertheless, the Galaxy S24 ought to show to be a formidable opponent as well, not just because of its additional rear camera but also because of all the unique AI capabilities and eccentricities that Samsung has added. Firstly, Samsung announced that its flagship lineup now has sophisticated noise algorithms that enable the phone to examine gyroscope information and discern between the movement of the subject being filmed and the movement of the person holding the phone. This is supposed to produce grain-free, higher quality photos and videos that are shot in low light. Furthermore, a specific color correction tool has greatly improved the Galaxy flagship's too contrasty and saturated appearance. As a result, colors seem more accurate and true to life. The AI-powered features of Google's phone cameras, such as their ability to remove objects from photos and restore fuzzy faces, were the primary draws for the company. To the S24 series, Samsung has added its own set of AI capabilities, such as the capacity to eliminate undesired shadows and reflections from windows and water surfaces. Along with the ability to alter the cutout size, users of the S24 may also move people or objects around in a photo, just like Google demonstrated during the launch of the Pixel 8. Both the Galaxy S24 and Pixel 8's primary cameras take excellent photos, but we can clearly see that the Pixel is somewhat clearer and that the Galaxy has superior HDR performance with more detail in the darkest regions. When shooting pictures at night or in low light, that amazing HDR performance is still evident. In this instance, the S24 has succeeded in capturing a great deal more detail in the highlights and shadows. Additionally, the primary camera of the Pixel 8 is less sharp in this situation. The Pixel 8 sensor crop produces impressive results even without a dedicated telephoto camera. In the image's darker regions, it even displays more detail. Nevertheless, you can see where there is text that the S24 telephoto snapper offers better overall image quality and crispness, albeit it is a little fuzzy around the borders. This is Samsung's distinctive technique, or how it makes its images stand out by boosting contrast and color brightness. Nevertheless, it is not as harsh as it was previously, and it improves the appearance of the picture. The Pixel strives to provide a more impartial, balanced image and is a little more conservative. But the Pixel's ultra-wide camera is obviously more capable in low light, as it highlights more detail in the shadows. The ultra-wide angle of the S24 added additional noise to the picture, degrading its perceived clarity and sharpness. Compared to the S24, the Pixel 8's front-facing camera's larger field of view allows it to capture significantly more of the scene. Additionally, the Pixel's image is noticeably sharper. Numerous peculiarities observed in the cameras of the S24 and Pixel 8 during photo capture are also evident during video recording. To begin with, the Pixel seems to have a more vivid look, which makes the image seem more striking at first glance. In addition, the Pixel appears to have a marginally higher dynamic range than the S24, catching more subtlety in the shadows. However, if you look at the wooden planks that make up the beach bar, you can see that the S24 generates a picture that is noticeably sharper. The Galaxy stabilization, which maintains the image's still quality when you move, is another advantage over the Pixel 8's choppy appearance. When it comes to the speaker's audio quality, the Galaxy S24 falls short of its rivals. For want of a better term, the sound feels piercing, as the lower frequencies lack depth. Furthermore, the Galaxy has a lower volume. In contrast, the Pixel 8 delivers a sound that is substantially more oomph and richer in tone. 
the fact that there is virtually little distortion even at maximum volume makes it even better. Both manufacturers provide their flagship phones with strong and accurate haptic motors, and the S24 and Pixel 8 are no exception. They vibrate strongly and have pricing. Finally, let's talk about battery life and charging. The Pixel 8 has a larger battery than the Galaxy S24, which has a 4000 mAh battery. Its battery is 4575 mAh. Nevertheless, Samsung claims to have further improved battery life, so we're eager to compare the findings of Phone Arena's battery tests with those of this little rascal with the Pixel 8. The results of our Phone Arena battery tests show that if you want the longest battery life, the Pixel 8 is the best option. Having said that, there isn't much of a difference, just one hour, between the gaming and video streaming categories, so this shouldn't be a major consideration when choosing between the two. The S24's cable charging capacity is still 25 watts, which is little less than the 27 watts of the Pixel 8. Having said that, both are specified to charge from 0 to 50% in about 30 minutes with the proper adapter due to the differences in battery size. The S24 has 15 watts of wireless charging capacity, while the Pixel 8 has 17 watts, the former has 4.5 watts of reverse wireless charging and the latter has 5 watts. Lastly, we discuss the summary. Google and Samsung are the two brothers dominating the Android phone market, each with a distinct strategy that sets them apart from the other. Whichever one you choose, you will be enjoying among the greatest Android experiences available. To date, one of Google's primary draws has been its innovative method of bringing excitement and functionality to smartphones. Clever features that at first glance may appear like gimmicks but are practical in a user's daily life are included in the Pixel 8. The issue is that, with the S24, Samsung has slightly usurped part of Google's thunder. The S24's AI features, if not for their novelty compared to previous Galaxy models, would have made it a pretty uninteresting upgrade for 2024. Which program and style feels more your style, then, is the question. There are many similarities between the two best Android phones available now that we are discussing. The bottom line is that any option you select, you won't be disappointed. Hope today's comment meets your standards, if you like my tech show you can also support by like and subscribe. Allow me for today, see you in the next video, goodbye.